Welcome to the vlog today. I'm Riley, and this is my in-depth look of my sixth grade math. All right, this is Christian Light Math, sixth grade, and we're going to do an in-depth video about what is in Christian Light's sixth grade math. math. All right, so here is what Math 601, 602, and 603 is going over. And then here is what four and five are going over. And then six and six. Six, seven, and eight. What they go over. And nine and ten. So that is the scope and sequence. All right, so here is what math comes with. You have two teacher guides. And then you have the 10 light units. The teacher guide is from 601 to 605. So from here to here, the first half of the books. And then and 606 to 610. So there's the other half of the books. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. So like I said, in our fourth grade, for 601, make sure you get it in the, vid in the video, okay? No, no humming, okay? That'll be too distracting. Okay. Okay, 601. These are... The pretest and practice to see if you remember from the previous year. I typically don't go over um, math 601, 501, 401, and so forth because we take small breaks throughout the year instead of a whole summer break, so that really doesn't affect us too much. And I can usually tell when the kids are struggling. Um, struggling on a certain concept. All right, so we're going to start off with what? Let's start off with the teacher's guide. So in the teacher's guide, we're going to start off with lesson six. Uh, let's see. Lesson six. And uh, that's math 01. I don't know math 01. So let's do... 602 and let's do let's see lesson eight so we're gonna take this book here and we're gonna do lesson eight what are you messing with that for please don't okay what are you messing with it for please don't all right so here is the student book it's using proportions to convert measurement. And as you can see, it shows the exact same thing in the teacher book, except with the answers. So it is a very, are you watching what you can see in there? You gotta watch in here so you can see what you're, you're getting, okay? We wanna try and get the math book. So, by the way, this is my handsome helper today. Hi. And because he is in the sixth grade this coming year, he wants to help. So it's a little crazy in this time. <laughs> okay, settle down. <laughs> You're being silly. <laughs> okay, so that's my helper today. So it's a little bit crazy, but a little bit fun, right? Yeah. Memories we make, right, guys? <laughs> All right, so hold it together with both your hands. Okay, now watch in the viewfinder I know. here. I know. What you're watching to make sure you get it, okay? <clears throat> okay, um, as I was saying, so everything in the student book. It teaches to the student, by the way. So everything that is in this book is also in the, in the teacher book. Um, it's very student-led. It's very independent. Um, my son has a little bit of trouble at times. But um, you know what? That's what we're here for. We're here to help him. So it goes over what you need to do. And then it has practice. And then you get re-remember. And, and you work on... Test. And you work on the rest of the uh, practice and skill builders. So it basically goes over what the rest of you have learned. So practice over, and you know, a test. addition, subscription, subscription, addition, subtraction, stuff like that. Okay. Just like at any other thing out, any other subject of Christian light, that test is in the middle. And you start learning the vision in fourth grade. Okay. <laughs> yes. And then here's a mastery drill for the rest of the lesson. And then it goes to nine. So typically it's about four pages a lesson. But 
you have one page here teaches you the lesson and then you do two questions you do two questions there then it has we remember it goes over things that you were taught in previous lessons and grades and then you have mm. careful with that yeah. you have mastery deal make sure you master um, make sure you master some questions so there is okay, you gotta hold still. so there is that okay so the teacher book is very conducive it's right here right here then it has how to do the problems here if you need to write it on the board and work with your student if they didn't get it. Um, I have also found Christian Light to be extremely, extremely helpful. If I didn't get a concept, I was able to call them. What are you doing, child? Keep it on the book, please. Okay. Okay. I was able to call them and uh, ask for help, and they were so they were so helpful. We were able to go step by step and get it figured out and we had to do it twice so far and you know what they're amazing I love their customer service they didn't be like well you should know this but you know what I didn't and they didn't really care they're like yeah here it's very simple do it in this this and this and you're good so yeah what I also like this is it's super affordable math is I got all these light units and the two teachers guides very cheaply the these units were like four like four or five dollars no they're like four dollars and you know what let's look it up real quick so the curriculum for math for the whole is this going to copyright if i show it you'll be fine see so see course all right, so the whole set was $49, so $50, and then you have 11 and 12. I'm sorry, 11 and 11. So 50, so 70 bucks for an entire year. So I feel like that is pretty cheap compared to like, I don't know, Bob Jones and Becca. They're like $349 per subject. So wow. anyway, these are amazing. Um, so yeah, okay, keep it on the books, please. All right, so we showed you 602. Let's do 606 for a little comparison of what they're doing. So we'll start off with lesson one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're talking about an area of a circle, you know, and then we go back down. We do re remember skill builders and mastery drill. And lesson two. And sometimes those things will come after the lesson. And they'll sometimes come after the lesson. I mean, sometimes they'll tell you to turn to the next page and keep doing. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So you have to check the page on the next page. So that's the 606, and let's see. Let's go lesson 13. So you're doing identifying right triangles, obtuse triangles, acute, figuring out the formula of the perimeters. Finding the or pair of each print point uh, point silly. Print. All right, so there's that, and then we'll go over six ten for you to show you what six ten looks like. Okay, so here is they're teaching multiplication and division terms. It looks like a hunter. It does look like a hunter, but okay. Then mastery, and that is one. Let's see if we can find the test. Okay. The test is always in the middle, buddy. Yeah, but okay. let's see what the look, test looks like. Okay. Here's the test. And here is what a test looks like. Um, I have found that this is the simplest and the easiest to understand for my kids. Both of them love it. It is one of our favorite masks that we have done. And I'll let, let you take a look, one more look at the teacher's guide. This one at another, um,
Okay, show her kind of the teacher, the, the teacher's aids. Okay, so it kind of shows you how to do it. It shows you like how your student should have done it. So if you are lost in a point, then it could tell you the step by steps here and here. So it's very organized and well put together. All right. Bye. Bye. Like what do you and tell subscribe. them? All right. Riley, stop messing with the settings, please. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow for what? Reading. For an in-depth loop at reading. <laughs> All right, we will talk to you later.